Um, Assalamualaikum, hello. I am Sagal Hasirag. I'm also a member of Voices of Muslim Youth. And it was interesting um, just going back to one of the first, I guess, guest speakers who was from Equal Voice. And I see on the panel a young man and two uh, men of immigrant origin. I'm just curious what your parties are doing, um, considering that our country is becoming far more multicultural and in the future I think there'll be more people of visible minorities than um, those of non-visible minority origin. What your, com what your party is doing um, proactively to recruit and reach out to com communities like the Muslim community uh, to find candidates and uh, yeah, I'm just curious to hear a bit more about that. And uh, we'll start with Yathana uh, Maccabee. Well, uh, we are here and I have uh, membership forms and volunteer forms right out there on a table and I hope uh, some of you will join. I mean, that's the best way to do it. I mean, we live in a free country, we can't force anybody, but we can create uh, alternatives and, and seed ideas in your mind and hope that you will join in. Um, I'm involved, I got involved in politics as I mentioned from a very early age since high school and I've been able to work through my political party to point out that I'm not only the member of provincial parliament for Ottawa Centre, I'm also the president of the Ontario Liberal Party, perhaps the first Muslim ever to be the president of the Ontario Liberal Party and perhaps the youngest president of the Ontario Liberal Party. But nobody gave me that on a plate. You know, I worked for it. And I think that's how you, you do it. You create opportunities, you create an equal platform where people themselves reflect it. Uh, within the organization and want to be part and parcel of it. And one of the things that I have devoted a lot of my time as the president of the party is to make sure that the party is open, the party is modern, the party is accessible to every one of us uh, so that we can find expression and be part in, in develop, uh, developing policies and ideas uh, to, uh, to put forward. So that's how we're doing it. And like I said, I, I really, really hope that at least two or three of, uh, of you uh, go to at least one of our tables, of all of our tables, and, and sign on as a volunteer. A collection campaign is the best time to get involved and, and learn about issues and educate others. Next respondent will be Willie Farr. Okay, I, I didn't, this is one reason that I didn't mention, but I will mention to you. One reason I'm running is exactly to address that issue. I want our, like people like me, like young people like me, who have the same background, to know that it is normal. You can do this. And actually, like this afternoon, I saw it, it's happening. In Ottawa South, if you go to Ottawa South, our campaign office, you will notice, I was, I, I was confessing this, afternoon uh, in, the, in the neighborhood and I had a grade 9 who is 14 years old, grade 9. He was noting everything that I was reading there. So I, he, he came and he said he wants to volunteer. I said, okay, okay you come with me. So he was knocking the doors with me. So, so the, the NDP party is wide open and we will welcome every shape, form uh, you, you could be. Like, I mean, anybody is welcome in the NDP party. If you want to join right now, there's Hijab right there, talk to him. And uh, so, uh, and, and that's how we do it. The NDP party is a party for the people, by the people. And we are not beholden by huge corporations. So, and that's what we're gonna, uh, uh, and that's why I'm actually done it. So please join us, like that 14 year old, who was very excited after, even after we, I said, you're too tired, just go home now. You know, and, uh, but, but uh, and he was very lucky, child. Because every door we knocked, we were getting support. So, please join. Join in any party, or make your own party. Because Canada, you can do whatever you want, right? Thanks, yeah. Right. Um, two quick points, fairly straightforward. Um, one, if we're talking about undue influence on elected officials um, and special interests, we need to look at ending corporate and union influence in politics. And the Green Party of Ontario is actually very clear. We're running on a platform to end corporate and union donations to political campaigns because it's become increasingly clear that those uh, in our legislative assemblies and on Parliament Hill who are influencing the legislation, the decisions that are being made, are not the individuals at the community level who elected uh, 
the representatives in the first place. But more to the point, how do we get more people of color, more people from diverse backgrounds, from different religious groups to be represented? The answer is quite simple, and it's proportional representation. Uh, why? Because when you have a system of proportional representation, not only do you have elected representatives who are more representative of the true wills and consciousness of the electorate, but you also have a situation in which the hands of the parties are forced to come up with party lists that are representative of Canadian diversity. Um, any political party, including the Greens, can say we're fielding X number of candidates who are women or X number of candidates who are from a minority background, but they can still run them in writings where they know their candidate has no chance of winning. With a proportional representation system, you have to rank your candidates so that if you get one seat as a party, your top candidate on your list gets that seat. And as a party, there's increasing pressure on you to make that somebody who is underrepresented traditionally in Canadian politics. So we're very clear that not only is it a question of getting special interests out, but it's bringing ordinary Canadians back into the fold through a fair and equitable electoral system.